Well, hello there, boys and girls. Here I am recording from my house with no power and hoping that the battery on the laptop holds long enough to make this happen. Either way, as you can see on the screen, I've got uh, stuff here for your virtual day. Uh, clearly, you've already found the assignment because you're watching this video. At any rate, you may need to enroll in the gizmo class if you're not already a part of it, which if you weren't here in the first quarter and you haven't done it uh, like since you came, then yeah, you need to join the gizmo class. So right here, you can see where it says sign in for Google accounts. That'll take you to the enroll in the gizmo class uh, assignment. And there's the link to enroll. And here is the document for the codes. You are either as an applied science student in first period or 10th period, please use the proper code. Uh, there are limited seats in each class, so I can only have so many students. Uh, should be fine, just, you know, pick the right class. It'll make our life easier. And then go ahead and load the assignment. Now, at first glance, the assignment looks like quite a bit. Oh, my dad, look at all that. It's very frightening, very intimidating, but don't worry. Most of these questions are actually super easy, and you've only got a couple punt squares that you have to do. The rest is, it, it'll be quick, I, I promise. You have a couple questions here to answer before you even load the gizmo one, two, and three. Then right here, this link and also the link on the assignment will take you straight to this uh, gizmo. You'll probably get this screen. Before you get crazy, check up here and make sure it says that you're logged in. If not, just click that, go ahead and that button will say log in and you'll log in. If you haven't registered, it'll prompt you to do so. Then you can launch the gizmo there or launch the gizmo there anywhere where it says launch the gizmo. Oh, look, it's the gizmo. Yay. Two things that will make your life much easier here when you're doing these problems is have checked, show genotype, and show statistics. You'll notice you've got some, like, cages, and down here some holding cages, and a little adorable escape door. Uh, how fun. Here you have two pure mice, and you can go ahead and just drag whichever mice you want to breed up there into parent one and two. When you click breed, here you have offspring. And you'll notice that if you click on the mouse or hover over the mouse with your mouse, over here it shows you the genotype. See, it says click a mouse. You can also keep breeding a whole bunch. Yay! And it will run some statistics for you. If you're looking for probabilities or approximate percentage for this one to compare your probabilities to, you can show approximate percentage, and it'll give you a nice rounded, nice, beautiful number. When you're done with your mice, you can hit clear. Maybe you want to breed the pure black mouse and the pure white mouse because you probably got told to. Boom! Now we got some mice. You can see they've got a nice heterozygous genotype to them. You will also uh, need these mice for later. So you can actually store a mice that you want to breed down here. Now we have a heterozygous mouse there, heterozygous mouse there, and maybe we want to keep the white parent. I don't know, just for fun. You can hit clear here to get rid of the mice, or you can release them individually into the escape door. But I mean, let's be honest, you probably want to hit clear. One of the things I really like doing, do a little breedy breedy. And you'll notice, oh, we got some interesting things going on here. And the percentage doesn't quite match what you would predict from a Punnett square, but you can hit breed a bunch of times. And as you go, you'll notice that the percentages get closer and closer until they're pretty much dead on. Either way, Make sure that you return your mice that you want to save back to the holding cages because when you hit clear, it will also clear the parents. All right, not too scary. If you get stuck, just holler at me. I'll be at something with internet all day. Uh, if I have to go into school, I will. You'll answer all these questions in the like orangish boxes. That's where you'll be typing your answers. You got a few Punnett squares to do. These ones look a little different from our Punnett squares. The bold part is what we think of as a Punnett square. And then here would be where you put the alleles around the outside. Don't put anything there. We don't use that slot. You can answer in here, right? Just answer the questions. Submit it when it's done. If you have questions, holler at me. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.